Hey, what's up? It is Anita Serene, and in today's psychic reading, we are going to look at the tarot cards to read how the person on your mind, the new person in your life, actually feels about you. So this psychic reading is if you have met someone new, you're dating someone you knew, you don't know this person very well, the relationship is not defined and you want to know, okay, how does this person feel about me? Is the feelings mutual? Is my love requited? What are their intentions? Who are they really? And where is this relationship going? If those are the questions that are ruminating through your mind, then the psychic reading is indeed for you. Now, for those of you who are new to my channel, I am Anita Serene. I've been a practicing psychic medium and astrologer for a very long time. And uh, I use the tarot cards and my intuition to channel the messages of what you need to hear. If you're interested in keeping up with me, all of my social medias, including TikTok and Instagram, are linked down below. You know, let's be friends. Add me on there. Go live all of the time. All right, guys, let's get to the options and let me give you a rundown on how this works. So what I need you to do is pick one of the three options with your intuition. Then once you pick an option, you can fast forward to the timestamps I provide in the pinned comment as well as the description. And guys, if your intuition is feeling really shaky and you can't pick an option, just use a random number picker, generate a number between one to three, and whatever the number picker generates is the one you're supposed to listen to. What's important is that you just pick an option that's calling to you while thinking about your person. Really like take some time to do this. Don't rush it like and picture them and their feelings towards you and then whichever option is pulling your gut towards it, that's the one you should listen to. And once again, guys, the timestamps are located in the pinned comment as well as the description. Click that timestamp and it'll take you right to your psychic reading. Now, a little disclaimer. I will be brutally honest. I'm not one of those readers that are going to tell you what you want to hear because sometimes the kindest thing for a reader to do is snap you out of your delulu, okay? So, you know, there is your trigger warning. If you really want to know, this is the place for you. So we are about to get started. If you need more time to look over those options, be sure to pause the video, but I will see you at your reading. So... Group number one, how your person feels. They're ready to settle down and you are at the right place at the right time. Um, The energy that I was picking up for your spread is this person has made a decision that they're ready for commitment. They're ready to stop always thinking that the grass is greener. You know, they've had other people They've had other grass um, and they're just like, you know what? I just want one person to settle down with. They're in that mood. And essentially this person um, is feeling very hopeful about this connection and you make them feel a lot of positive emotions And I think one of the things is, is this person has been telling themselves, like, I am not as attracted to anyone as I am group number one. So this must be, you know, the person I can settle down with. This must be the person that, you know, they fantasize. I know it doesn't seem like it because the way this person acts is definitely very noncommittal. They act emotionally unavailable. They act like they're keeping things casual, but actually this person has really has, has started to feel like you are the person that they could have a life with or live with or have a family with. Um, and that's been on their heart really strongly because like I said in the beginning, I think this person has dated other people and, you know, they couldn't make a decision about the other ones. There was always something that didn't feel right. And this person is thinking group one that it feels right with you because 
they're more attracted to you physically than they have been with partners in the past. One thing you need to know about this person that's coming in is they're very controlling. I don't know if you know this about your person. They're very assertive. They're very, con- they're very masculine, even if you're dealing with a feminine energy. And I will tell you that if you were to date this person, they would be very controlling about who you hang out with, where you go, what foods you ate, what you wore. Um, they'd be very um, assertive and be the type to tell you what to do. So if you don't like that, then I don't know what to tell you because um, the Holy Spirit is giving me an energy of puppet strings. Um, This is the type of person before you go out with their friends, they're going to be like, don't talk about this, talk about this, wear that. Um, If you have a guy friend, they're going to be like, I don't want you hanging out with them. Or if they have a girlfriend, They're going to be like, "Uh uh-uh, you can't hang out with that person. You know, this person's naturally very controlling. I think this is something this person is trying to work on, but I will tell you, controlling person. Um, You know, this person is, their next actions towards you is they're going to try to grow a long-term serious relationship with you because what the Holy Spirit is showing me is I'm getting an image of a seed and I'm seeing your person plant the seed into the ground. And as they're planting that seed into the ground, they're watering that seed and they are nurturing that seed. So this person wants to invest in growing this relationship with you. And Um, They have actually, they're thinking about you right now as you're watching this video because you guys are very psychically connected. Um, I'm hearing they smell your perfume when you're not around or your cologne. They'll smell it and they'll look to see if you're around. And you guys have this telepathic bond where... You know, where we're all connected telepathically. The other day, um, my fr- like I-, I started seeing my friend's birthday number everywhere. Like, you know, their birthday number and I saw their name like three times in a span of 10 minutes. And I knew they were thinking about me. And literally right then they texted me. So if you think all of that is woo-woo when we live in a reality where that doesn't exist, you are wrong, my friend. Take the blindfold off. That shit does exist. We are all psychically, psychically connected. Uh, um, you know, dolphins, for instance, dolphins, they communicate with each other without language. Animals communicate with each other without language. Language is to delight and to confuse and to excite, but mainly we communicate with energy. And um, you guys are very psychically connected, just like they know that you hold back how much you like them, but they know that they know, they feel how interested you are in them. They feel it. So if you think you're doing a good job at hiding your interest, or if you think you're doing a good job at, um, you know, whatever it is that you're doing, no, they know that you're hiding those secret feelings. They know how you feel. And I think that's why, you know, they share those same feelings, okay? All right? They share it, and you guys both feel it. You know, there's this energy of if you're dealing with a divine masculine, if you want to make this person fall for you, you know, don't be afraid to ask for help. Let them be your knight in shining armor. Let them show you. Like, that's how this person is going to show you how serious they are. You'd be like, Oh my gosh, I'm locked out of my apartment at 10 p.m. Can you come help me uh, break open my door or can I stay at your place? They're going to be like, yeah, and they're going to feel like a knight in shining armor and bond with you. But if you're a masculine who's trying to win over a feminine, be there for her when she needs you because coming up soon, your lady's going to need your help. You know, her tire's going to break down. She's going to have some issues she can't deal with. When that comes up, be her knight in shining armor. You will have this bitch in the bag, okay? Um, so what I'm seeing is, do they share those feelings for you? Yes, ma'am, or yes, sir, they do. 100% they do. I see it with this flame right here. It's a red candle. They have a flame in their heart for you. Um, like I said, 
they are insanely physically attracted to you, you guys would be super good in the bedroom together. I just want to lay it down flat. Um, you have a feeling, they have a feeling if you guys haven't done it yet. Hopefully you haven't because you just met this person. Um, no shame in that, but you guys know how I feel about it. I feel like we shouldn't, you know, take sex so lightly. I don't feel like that's conducive to the feminine energies, but you do you essentially. Um, you guys would have amazing sexual compatibility. And I actually feel like this person has had sex dreams about you. I really do. Um, and you might have had dreams about them as well. You know what I mean? But it's mutual. So this person actually, group number one, they're starting to get serious about their career. They're starting to get serious about their goals. They're starting to get serious about their future because I think this person is ready to really grow the fuck up. You know, there's something about your energy that they're ready to mature. They're ready to, you know, stop going out on the streets. They're ready to take their career seriously. You know, if you're dealing with a woman, this woman is done going to the club. She's done dating. She's done being by the streets. She's starting to take her life more seriously so she can be a more mature partner and wife for you. But if you're dealing with a guy, I strongly feel that, you know, he's starting to take his his work, like making more money seriously so they can offer you commitment. And like I said, if you want to know why this person has decided they want to invest in you, it's because they feel a passion and attraction towards you they haven't felt with other people in a very long time. And it's making this person go, you know what? I don't think I need to look anywhere else. I'm ready to settle down. I'm ready to take that next step. I'm done dating. I'm done having one night stands. I'm done meeting new people. I'm just ready to chill and have someone there. And they're feeling very positive about you, actually. Um, there's a hope in your connection and they really feel like if you guys keep hanging out or if they water it, it could lead to you guys living together or you guys getting married or you two having children. Like that's what they want in their heart. And so far they're feeling hopeful that you could be the person that they do it with. And their next actions towards you is they're going to, yes, they're still emotionally immature. And like I said, one of the ways they're emotionally immature is the more invested in you, the more controlling they get of you. So, you know, like one time I dated this dude who was like, I like when your hair is blonde. I like when you wear black. Well, I do it now because I like it. But, you know, he was very controlling about what I wore. Um, this could be the type of woman who's controlling about the food you eat. Like, let's say you're a dude and you like diet Coke. She's going to be like, no, don't drink that. That's bad for you. So the more emotionally invested they get in you, the more controlling they get. And one of the ways you're going to see this person become gradually more emotionally invested in you is you're going to see that they are turning to be way more controlling in their behavior towards you. Now, some people like that. That's a kink for some people. Some people like to be put in their place and told what to do. And if you like that, this is the person for you. But if you don't like being put on a leash, if you don't like being controlled, if you don't like someone who's overbearing when they love you, controlling the foods you eat, making sure you eat healthy, then maybe this person isn't for you because this is a shadow that they need to work on. Um, they, they do get very jealous and they get very controlling. All right. Um, we got a dummy mommy over here or like, you know, whatever. Um, and if you guys have been intimate, the D is fire baby. Okay. <laughs> if you guys, I'm chronically online. So, you know, that reference, sorry, but you know, I will tell you that one of the reasons why they really like you is because you know who you are. Um, you are not the type of person who is lost in life. Like you are going to school, you are working, uh, and you know what you want in the future. You know what you want in life. You know who you are, you know where you're going. And that's something that they really, um, admire in you. They love how you have a solid identity on your own. You know what you like, you know what you dislike. Um, you know where you're going in the future. You know exactly who it is and what you're meant to be. And they like that. And they also like how intuitive you are and how tapped into your feelings you are, because a lot of you might resonate with, you know, being an empath or being sensitive or being uh, nurturing. 
They like those motherly, nurturing, feminine qualities in you, even if you're divine masculine, because women like that shit and men, believe it or not. Like, I like men who are a little feminine, okay? A little effeminate, um, a little bit sensitive, a little bit in their feels, like a... I don't know, like who, like a Johnny Gilbert type, like women love that shit. You know, someone who's really in touch with their emotions and is very sensitive and writes sensitive poetry. Women love that. So if you're a guy, don't take that as offense, but that's something they like about you. And if you're a feminine energy, they like how you have that archetype of being this intuitive, feeling, open-hearted, caring mother archetype. They like that in you. Um, they think that you would make a great mother. They've thought that about you if you're a feminine. Um, and if you're a masculine, well, like I said earlier, so what I want to do is, you know, what are their next moves towards you? They're going to try to grow this relationship because they're feeling very hopeful and they see the potential in it. And honestly, group one, What are the next actions? Romance. They're going to try to seduce you. They're going to ask you on a date. They're going to be super romantic, you know, thoughtful gestures, trying to set the mood for you. We do have snake, though. This is what I'm worried. There's something sneaky about this person's energy group, number one. I'm not saying that they're a bad person. I'm not saying that they are, you know, not good I'm just telling you they have sneaky, manipulative behavior that you need to be aware of. They might use covert ways to control your actions. They might not. Okay, I got it. This person's not outwardly controlling. They're covertly controlling using guilt and manipulation. This is one of their shadow aspects. And they're not going to tell you they're jealous and be obvious that they're jealous, but it will show in very covert ways. So, you know, guys, just be be careful with this person. There are some red flags that I think will show up in due time. And we all have our red flags. Okay. We, we all do, but I'm telling you this person's one of their red flags is they can be sneaky. They can be covert and they can also um, be very controlling covertly. Um, and they could also be someone that gets jealous Um, so, you know, but I will tell you guys, whoever it is that you're dating, you guys are on the same attractiveness level. I'm sorry if that's triggering. I'm sorry. But some of you guys, you might think, oh, this person is too attracted for me. Oh, this person's out of my league. No, as I see with the swans here, this is a clear indication. You guys are on the same attractiveness playing field. So if you feel like this person is attractive, well, babe, you are the same level attractive as them. So as attractive as you think they are, you are too. And don't forget that. All right. Um, you actually have two people in your energy right now. Group number one, uh, coming up Two two people. Yeah. I think this person senses it. Group one, this person senses that you have someone else who's interested in your auric field because you do. And I am picking that up very strongly here. Uh, there is somebody else in your, vicinity that is interested in you. This person could have a cat or a pet snake. Um, But what I will tell you is this person senses it energetically and it's making them want to rush in and claim you essentially. And if this hasn't happened yet, it's about to. And I think this person has realized their toxic group one. I just got a message. This person has realized their toxic ways. Like they realize they're controlling. They realize they're jealous. They realize they can be kind of sneaky and manipulative. They have realized that about themselves and they have realized that's why a lot of their relationships have ended and they're ready to make a change because they don't want to be that person anymore with the butterfly, with the evolution. Guys, the message is coming so strong from the Holy Spirit. Praise God. Like this is really flowing and channeling out of me. So I really feel it's true. Um, So listen, this person is, hasn't been taking life seriously before. They're ready to, you know, be a provider or be wifey. They're done with their, their, um, 
irresponsible ways. Like your your girl, group one, if you're asking about a girl, she might be the Kesha type where she's like, wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. Grab my glasses, I'm out the door. I'm going to hit the city. When I leave, brush my teeth with a bottle of Jack. Because when I leave for the night, I ain't coming back. I'm sorry, I can't help myself. I physically cannot help the verbal vomit of karaoke coming out of me. I just can't. I'm sorry. Um, so, you know, like they might've been the Kesha type and they're like, whoa, I'm ready to drink green shakes. I'm ready to go to yoga. I'm ready to quit smoking cigarettes. I'm ready. I'm, I'm done because I'm ready to be wifey. Like for this person, like I'm ready to tame myself. And if you're a guy, it's just, you know, this, this dude is like, I'm, I'm over the dating scene. I'm over, um, you know, just finding reasons to not settle down. I'm ready to settle down. I want to settle down and I'm deciding to, um, invest in this person, which is you because they're ready. And also they're feeling very hopeful and very attracted to you. So this is all really good stuff. Now I'm going to ask God to, to ask, you know, what does God feel about, this relationship, like what kind of relationship is this? God wants you to know you are protected from all harm. Okay. You are protected in love. So if you're worried that this person is going to hurt you, or this person is going to betray you, or this person is going to murder you, if you don't know them there very well, and they're like, Hey, you trying to go on a hike in the middle of nowhere. And you're like, bro, like I'm a woman. Like, I don't know if you're a serial killer or not. God wants you to know you're not going to get serial murdered on a date, okay? You are protected. You're not going to get betrayed. You're not going to get hurt because God will interfere before that happens because you are so protected in love. Look at that. Protected and interference. If you guys don't believe me. So I say this could possibly lead to children, but if not, enjoy the romance. Enjoy, you know, being wined and dined and romanced, okay? Enjoy falling in love. You know, life don't have to be so serious all the time. We can just enjoy good feelings and not worry about bad things happening because sometimes falling in love is just, this is a soulmate. Look at that shit. Oh, boom. It's a soulmate. This is a big time soulmate in your life, group one. There you go. So I'm really happy we started this out so positively. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later. If that reading really resonated with you, I highly suggest you join my Patreon tier membership for $11.11 a month. There's like a free tier, but that's not how you're going to access all the content. You actually have to click join membership for $11.11 a month for access to four psychic readings from me monthly. But I already have a whole collection of 200 different pick a card psychic readings already on my Patreon that you will have access to for only $11.11 a month, including how does your crush feel about you, what you need to focus on right now, what blessings are coming your way, what's coming for you in the next week. Every psychic question you need answered, you can get answered on my Patreon videos where these pick a cards are only on my Patreon. So, you know, join us over there. It's the cheapest psychic reading service ever for only $11 a month. And the link to join is in the pinned comment as well as the description. Group number two, for all of you who chose this pile right here, this is your psychic reading on how the new person in your life feels about you. So we're going to go over, you know, who this person is first so you can get an idea for who they really are because if this is a new person in your life, you don't really know them that well. So this person is a lot of fun. They're funny. They're fun to hang out with. This is the type of person you have a good laugh with. They are massively entertaining. They are massively entertaining to hang out with. They have a fun personality. They're not stuffy. Um, They know how to drink. They know how to party. They know how to have a good time and make you laugh. They're also someone who is, you know, very helpful to other people. So they genuinely get off on helping others. And the reason why you feel suspicious of this person, because 
I am getting that a lot of you feel suspicious of this person um, with this wolf in sheep's clothing. You don't trust this person for some reason. You're like, what are their motives? What are their intentions? The reason why you do not trust this person is because they have a tendency to play dumb, okay? Your person plays dumb. They play dumb. They play. They put on a front to the world when they're really not that stupid internally. This is also the type of person, the reason why you don't trust them is because they are not who they really are out in public. They have a mask, a public persona, a mask that is not really who they are in private and you pick that up strongly. So this is why there is a mistrust that you feel towards this person. I will also tell you um, what I'm picking up energetically is this person does have a tendency to, you know, if you're dealing with a divine masculine, no hate to the divine masculines, but this is the type of divine masculine that will date you and court you and act like they want a relationship, but down low, all they want to do is get it in. Um, if you're dating a woman, this might also be the type of woman that uh, she she might care about you, she might love you, she might, you know, want to date you, but there's an ulterior motive that's going down under there like, oh, you have lots of money or you can get her connections. You know, she always has an ulterior motive of what she really wants that she doesn't say out loud. This is why you do not trust this person. But I will tell you, they are a lot of fun. They're very entertaining. And I feel like this person wants to help you in some sort of way. This person has been acting like, you know, they're very proud of you. They want to put, I'm hearing, you know, the energies that I'm feeling is they want to post you on social media. They want the whole world to know that you two are together. They're very proud of you. They feel like, being with you or interacting with you is a flex. And, you know, they want to post pictures with you. They want to be seen with you. They want to talk, they talk about you to all their friends. So the good news is this person doesn't want to keep this relationship private because they feel like you two would look good together. Okay. Um, this person, I'm just going to be honest with you group two, if you're dealing with a masculine, he might want to be with you simply because you make him look good. Okay. You make him look good. You make him look cool. Um, you make him look like the man. So he's not going to hide you. Actually, he wants to post you. He wants to be seen with you. He wants the world to know that you are with him or he's talking to you. I will tell you guys, this person has is a bad boy or a bad girl, low-key, okay? They've been to jail. I really feel that. They have been to jail. I don't care. You probably don't know this person well enough to know that, but if you do, I will tell you they have had issues with the law in the past. They have been to jail. Um, I will say that this person might be... <sighs> a very helpful, nice person, but they have a sketchy, seedy past. Do I feel like their intentions for you are bad? No. I think that they actually really admire you in some sort of sense. And I think that I'm hearing they want to be your friend, okay? They just want to be your friend. They don't care if this relationship doesn't work out romantically. They don't care if this connection never leads to, you know, physical stuff. They want to be your friend because they feel like you would be a cool asset to have in their life as a person, you know, um, I'm, I'm strongly feeling they want to work with you on a creative project or they want to work with you because you guys have similar goals or like you guys have a similar path in life and they think that's really cool. And I feel like this person just feels like an affinity towards you where they feel like you guys could be amazing friends no matter what happens romantically. 
Okay. I think they're, what they want is to open you up more. They want to get to know you more. They want to open you up more. They want to show you that you can trust me. They want to show you that, you know, they, they, res- they, they want to get to know you more because they think you're cool essentially. And I'm not, I'm, I'm going to be honest here. I'm not seeing a lot of sexual, um, thoughts about you. I'm mainly seeing that this person just wants you in their circle. They want you in their tribe because they think that you're cool and they want to be seen with you. Yeah, I heard it be about side guys. Why do they think you're so cool? What about you? Do they think is so freaking cool anyway? With this denial card. Okay, let's get some other things about it. Okay, and the self care. They like how cold. They like how unapologetic you are. They like how selfish you are. They like how you're not afraid to block people, walk away from people, and focus on yourself. They like how selfish you are, how unapologetic you are, and how cold you can be to... They like how cold you can be because you prioritize yourself. They like that bad bitch energy, essentially. Um, do I feel like they... No, I don't feel like they want sex. And this is, this is what I will tell you right now. I don't think this person wants sex because they don't feel like it's time for you to have sex. They don't feel like it's time for you to connect in that way. They'll, the, they feel like they're happy with leaving things the way that they are because they feel like when the time is right, they'll feel ready to take that step. Even if this is a masculine you're talking about, um, you might be like, what, they, they're not interested in me, but I actually think this person connects with you more mentally and they just like having conversations with you. They like talking to you. Um, they, they think that you're really cool, right? They like you. I don't feel anything romantic about this. This is someone you would have a lot of fun times with. I will say you might have felt judged by this person at a certain point for something. You know, you you felt like judgmental energy coming from this person that you couldn't explain, like they were critical on you or judgmental of you. And that's because they were. Um, I think this person has a tendency to be rather critical and um, they have a tendency to be critical of others, to be completely honest with you. They need a lot of space. They're also very hermited as well. So they always find fault in other people or they find a reason to walk away or a reason to ghost, essentially. Um, this person wants to come in and be your friend and be a helpful person to you because they feel like you guys could help each other out. Okay. Let's see. What messages, what is the future of this connection? Spiritual, using intuition, divine intervention, divine guidance. Well, I will tell you that God in the universe brought this person into your life for a reason. Um, I will tell you that they feel, they feel like you are meant to be in their life. Like you are a once in a lifetime opportunity. You're a once in a lifetime kind of connection where they know you're just not another person that they met because they might meet other people, right? And they might connect with other people, but they don't feel that exclamation point, like how they feel with you. Like they, they know there's something about this connection that's more than just like a frivolous connection. They feel like it was fate that you two met and that you two will play a big role in each other's lives. With the lover's card in reverse, I feel like at one point they did think about what it would be like to be with you romantically, but I'm not getting that this is a romantic connection simply because the lovers came out in reverse. I feel like um, the potential of this relationship, what is uh, the potential of this relationship? Um... I'm getting like friends who work together, friends who help each other. Um, with the Ace of Cups in reverse, there's something where it's like you couldn't emotionally connect or you can't emotionally connect with this person. And I'm just being honest with you. It's like, yeah, you guys have a lot of good laughs. Yeah, you guys might, you know, 
make a cool, like when you hang out, it's lots of laughter. It's a lot of, it's a lot of fun. Um, when you guys hang out, you guys are productive together. You know, you, they're entertaining. You entertain them. It's lots of laughs and they know like this connection is special because they don't feel it with a lot of people. But with Ace of Cups in reverse, it's like they're having a hard time connecting with you emotionally or on that emotional level. And, you know, it could just be like, I don't know why that is. It's like, how do you feel about this person? Let me get some tea on how do you feel about this person? We have the moon. Interesting. All right, let me get some more. How do you, how does group number two, I need to get organized. I am just totally spilling cards all over the place. How does group number two feel about their person? How does group number two feel? Wow. You know what, guys? You have you might have like a little bit of an obsession with this person where you fantasize about them a lot. You know what I mean? And the reason why you have an obsession where you think about them so much is because you're feeling the distance between you two because you guys are psychically connected. And you're feeling that there's some sort of disconnect on their end. You feel it. You know, I don't care what it is they say. Like they might say, I'm so attracted to you. I'm so into you because they're, they want to be public with you. They want to post you on their social media. They say they're excited about you. They say they're feeling you. They're attracted to you. But your feeling is not matching what they're saying. That's, that's the vibe I'm getting. How you feel your intuition is telling you that they don't really feel the way that they say they feel, even though they're acting one way, but you're feeling another. That's why we have this wolf in sheep's clothing. This is why you don't trust them because the way they're acting is not really what they're feeling internally. Okay. The way they're acting is I'm so turned on by you. I'm so attracted to you. I'm so into you. Um, I want to post you on social media. You know, the way that they're acting is I'm in love with you. You're a once in a lifetime opportunity. I'm so lucky to have met you. I feel something so special with you, right? Like they're acting super hot and heavy for you, but your intuition is like, wait a second something's up. I'm, I'm here. It's something is not matching up. I'm not feeling what they're saying. Okay. I'm not feeling what they're saying. Why is it that I feel like what they're saying is not honest? It's not true. This is why you don't trust that person. I think that this person honestly sees you as more of a friend, but I think that they're scared that if they were to tell you that you would be offended and you wouldn't want to be in their life and they don't want to lose you because they think that you guys would be cool together. Like you're the type of person they want to be seen with. You're the type of person they want to kick it with. You're the type of person that they want to surround themselves with because they think you're cool and they think that, you know, you guys have the same aesthetic or you make them look good or, you know, they have a lot of laughs around you, but they just don't feel that emotional connection to you, even like in a romantic sense. And I think, you know, this person is overly flattering, like they flatter you a lot. Um, I think this person is overly forward with you because they don't want to lose you. And they, on some sort of subconscious level, feel as though if they were to tell you that, you'd be offended, you would leave. They, they don't want to just friend zone you because they know that it would hurt you and they don't want to lose you. And they feel that connection with you, but just maybe not in a romantic sense. But let me, um, what are their intentions? Like, what is the likely outcome of this? What is the likely outcome of this? Listen, if you, 
I see you guys trying to give this another shot. If you guys are in no communication or the relationship has been tumultuous, I see there being a reconciliation. I see there being another shot at this. But honestly, I feel like there were too many things that were left unsaid. How do you make this person feel and how do they make you feel? How do you make this person feel? I think that this person brings out your worst with the shadow side. They make you petty. They make you jealous. They make you annoyed. They make you angry. A part of you feels not good enough around this person as well. And I think it's because internally, I don't know if I mentioned this before, they can be very judgmental, very critical, very perfectionistic on themselves, but they can also be like that towards others. So a part of you have has always felt like this person's kind of judging me. They're like looking at me and judging me. They're looking at me and disapproving of something, but you're not sure if, um, you're not sure if you're just being paranoid. But no, this person is internally critical of themselves and they're internally critical of others. Okay. Um, this person is a sweet talker. They're really good at being charming. They're really good at being likable. But the thing is, they're not upfront with their intentions. I think this person just wants to their intentions. I think they just want to work with you or help you with something. Yeah, they just want to have fun with you, dude. I'm just going to be a real group too. They just want to have fun. They they might want to be creative with you. They might want to laugh with you. They might want to go out and drink with you. But this person has no intentions of... No intentions of settling down. This is the type of person that's spontaneous. They follow their desires. They follow their feelings. They don't want to settle down with that fire card. They're super sweet, super charming, super fun, super entertaining. Um, but... I don't feel like they're taking anything serious right now. They want to do what they want when they want to do it. Um, and this is why you don't trust this person because their actions aren't matching. Their words aren't matching their actions. Their actions aren't matching their words. They're acting like they're into you, but the feeling is not there. And that's because they're not emotionally connected. They're just looking for a good time. That's honestly what I feel. And, um, you know, I'm sorry if that's not, what you want to hear, but I really value being an honest reader. And, you know, I, w I will tell you they do, they are super proud of you. And I want to like see why they're so proud of you. I think I did a little bit in the beginning, but, you know, they're really proud of you. They want to have you as a friend. They want you in their corner. Why? Maybe because you guys are wealthy and successful and they really admire that about you. Okay. Um, they admire your confidence. They admire, uh, they know that you are loyal. They know that you are fiercely loyal. They sense that on you. They know that you would be a good ally on their team. And they also admire how successful you are for your age, or they admire how you make your money. Okay. They feel like Oh, there's my phone. They feel like with healed from the past and divinity, they feel really like good vibes from you. Like they feel like you're meant to be in their life, but they just aren't emotionally connected because they kind of just want to do their own thing. They're not looking for anything serious. They want to keep their options open. All right, so that's all I have for you. I hope that was helpful. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you later. If that reading really resonated with you, I highly suggest you join my Patreon tier membership for $11.11 a month. There's like a free tier, but that's not how you're gonna access all the content. You actually have to click join membership for $11.11 a month for access to four psychic readings from me monthly. But I already have a whole collection of 200 different pick a card psychic readings already on my Patreon that you will have access to for only $11.11 11 a month, including how does your crush feel about you, what you need to focus on right now, what blessings are coming your way, what's coming for you in the next week. Every psychic question you need answered, you can get answered on my Patreon videos where these pick a cards are only on my Patreon. So, you know, join us over there. It's the cheapest psychic reading service ever for only $11 a month. And the link to join is in the pinned comment as well as the description. Group number three, for those of you who chose this option right here, 
this is going to be pretty much how the new person feels about you. No bullshit. And first, we're going to start off group number three, um, just kind of talking about what kind of person that you are dealing with. And the type of person you're dealing with is someone who is very childlike, like they have a childlike personality, they have a childlike way of seeing the world. So very eternally um, youthful, very youthful, very youthful. This person, because they have such an open-hearted, pure energy, um, they frequently get taken advantage of by energy vampires or people that want to use them for something. This is something that they struggle with a lot. And um, one thing your person is doing is I think they're learning about makeup if they're divine feminine or they're a makeup artist of some sort or they feel insecure when they don't have makeup on. Um, I'm also feeling for you, this person is doing a break from social media or they're doing some sort of social media detox. Um, this person is super indecisive. They don't know what they want in life. That's what the Holy Spirit is telling me. You know, one minute they want to go this direction. One minute they want to go the other. They really don't know what it is they want in life and they have a hard time making decisions just in general. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, shuffle to see. We're going to get some more clarifiers here to see what is going on in your connection. Um, we're going to see now that we went over, you know, some signs about this person. We're going to see um, who Ooh, the true love card just popped out. Damn. All right. Let's see what this is about. How does your person think about you? How does your person think about you? How do they feel about you? How does your person think about you? They think you're guarded and secretive. They think that you are guarded and you are secretive. Group three, straight up, this person I don't feel like has a lot of boundaries because when you think about children, which is the card used to describe their energy, they're very innocent, very childlike in their brain and their personality. Um, they don't have a lot of boundaries, which is why your person frequently gets taken advantage of. And you'll notice this, like they'll tell you about their friends and you'll be like, you know, that friend's using you, or they'll tell you about like past love interests that took advantage of them. Or you might notice that a lot of people in their life are energy vampires or money drainers because they don't have a lot of boundaries because they're so open hearted, like a child, which also makes them a visionary. Like they're able to really do things that are innovative that no one has done before because they're so creative and they're so um, innovative. They're, they're trendy, they're trendsetters, right? I do, I do feel that specifically about your person. But the issue is in comparison to you, they feel like you are secretive, you are guarded, you are not opening up to them that because you probably have a lot more boundaries up and a lot more personal protection than this person has right? And so because they know how open hearted they are, they're like, they're like a dog. They trust everyone. They love everybody. They're like a beat dog. You know, your person's like a beat dog. Like some, someone will straight up be using them, taking advantage of them. And they'll just be wagging their tail, not knowing what's going on. Um, and so because you, you, you guys definitely have more of a guard up, you definitely protect yourself more. You definitely, you know, like you definitely are more guarded and more secretive because you're not as naive as this person has a tendency to be. This person's like childlike and it's endearing. This is probably why you like them, right? You're probably like, it's very endearing how childlike and open hearted they are. I think it's, you know, very endearing and fun. And, um, but at the same time, you're not like that. So they see you as guarded, secretive. They're wondering what you're hiding. They're wondering why you're not as open to them. 
All right. What do they feel about you? What do they feel? They feel like they're afraid that you're going to leave their life at any minute. They're afraid that if they give their heart to you, you're going to um, try to run away. I see that with free yourself and never enough. They are scared to give you their heart completely because they're like, if I actually fall for group number three, they might leave me. They're going to run away from me. They're scared of that with you. Okay. What they want with you. What does this person want with you and what are their intentions with you? Let's take a look at this here. What are their intentions um, towards you? What are their intentions? They don't know what they want. With smoke and mirrors and clouded. Group three, your person is lost in all areas of life. They don't know what they want. They don't know which way to go. And this is carrying over into your relationship where they honestly don't know what they want from you. All they know is that they never, they feel like they never get enough time for you, from you. They never get enough attention from you. They always, they're always longing for more of you. Their next actions towards you, they, they want to take you to the movies. Okay. They want to take you to the movies. They want to go on trips with you. I'm hearing if you haven't heard from this person, they're going to spontaneously reach out to you any day now. How are they acting towards you in this relationship? They're acting very unbothered with this whatever card. You know, you might feel like this person is just sort of acting like very chill, very cool, very moody. Uh, their, their attention isn't consistent. The energy they give you isn't consistent. The way they feel about you isn't consistent. And I feel like you feel like they're treating you like you don't really matter. And they've also been acting emotionally immature. In what ways has your person been acting emotionally immature towards you? In an effort to control your behavior, they lied to you. So you feel like they were deceitful to you in some sort of sense. They, you felt like they were manipulative and they used a white lie or some sort of lie to manipulate you. And you saw that lie as manipulation. So maybe you notice this person has like kind of a tendency to do that. Um, so will this person reach out? Yes. They're not predictable because they don't have a schedule even for themselves. And let's get some further messages on this. Let's get some further clarifiers of what is going down. What's on their head for you? What's on their head for you? They think that you have a nice body. They love the way that you're built. They love your body. Um, but they also feel like your body language is very closed off. Like one of the things that your person thinks about a lot when it comes to you is that your body language is closed off. They read your body language. They feel like your body says, I don't like you. I don't want you. And, you know, essentially that's what's going on. What's on their heart for you? Um, their feelings for you are growing. The more time they spend with you, the more money they spend on you, their feelings for you are definitely growing. They're on the rise. They definitely have um, feelings for you, 100%. So group three, how this person sees you is actually quite funny. Um, I heard man eater da, 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 make makes you work hard, makes you something. I don't haven't listened to that song in so long, but it's called Man Eater by N Nelly Furtado. That's how they see you. They're like, Man Eater makes you work hard, makes you spend hard, makes you blah, 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 blah. Wish you never, ever matter at all. And if you're dealing with a feminine energy, um, she sees you as the song Womanizer by Britney Spears. And pretty much that song goes, um... What, how does that Womanizer by Britney Spears go? Uh, it's like, 
I know what you are, baby. Womanizer, womanizer. Oh, you're a womanizer. Oh, womanizer, babe. You're a womanizer, baby. You, you, you are. You, you, you are a womanizer. So they see you as a man eater or a womanizer. That's how they see you. They, they see you as someone that um, is, is kind of manipulative with the men or the ladies. So they see you as a Don Juan if you're a guy. Or if you're a woman, they, they literally think you're a man eater. Um, this person, I will tell you, they're thinking about you right now as we speak. And they're thinking about the good times you shared together. They're romanticizing um, the time that you two spent together. And they've been thinking about texting you and calling you because they miss you. I think at a certain point, they had some animosity or some bad vibes towards you because you seemed very closed off to them. They're like, oh, group three doesn't really like me. They're trying to take advantage of me or group three is it doesn't like me. So they, they held that animosity towards you essentially, but this person has been missing you and their bad vibes towards you are clearing up and they want to give this another go. So I think this person is going to reach out to you. Yes, because they have been thinking positively about you. I'm also hearing like when you text this person, they can be in a bad mood, but as soon as they see a text from you, they smile. They actually smile, you know, all of that cheesy crap. Okay, so how is it that you feel about this person? Ooh, how do you feel about this person? Group number three, I'm genuinely curious. How do you feel about this person? They hit you in the heart. They did. They opened you up a little bit more than the normal person is able to, didn't they? Um, you're normally someone who's more careful and more strategic, but something about this person's childlike nature, their open heartedness kind of opened you up more than you normally open up with people. But it's funny because that's not enough for them. They feel like you didn't open up to them enough and that you're still very guarded. How do you feel about this person? You want to take steps forward in this relationship to see where it could go. I see that. All right, let's get some further cards. How do you feel about this person? How do you feel about this person? You feel like ugh, one thing that might turn you off about this person, I don't know if you like it or not, but you feel like you would have to be like a mom to this person or a dad to this person because they do act very childish. So a part of you feels like a part of your relationship would be kind of parental, like you'd have to be the stern father or the nurturing mother. Um, someone here might be thinking about getting plastic surgery. Okay, someone here has been thinking about getting plastic surgery to look better for the other. So I don't know if that is you or it's if, if you haven't been thinking about getting plastic surgery, this person has been thinking about getting plastic surgery to enhance their appearance to look better for you, like a boob job or a butt job or a nose job. I don't know if I'm picking up your energy or their energy, but they definitely thought about it in order to impress you. Okay. Um, what is it that you want with this connection? Group number three. You want to develop a relationship with this person, even if whether it's friendship or romantic. What do they want to happen between the two of you? Okay, I got it. Guys, group three, I'm not trying to feed your Delulu. Group number two was brutal. And I'm going to be real with you. I did this pick a card already on how a guy I like felt about me and I got group number two. I slapped the shit out of myself too with honesty, trust. I, like, if you don't believe me, you can listen to all the piles and know it's not all positive. Group number two was brutal. Um, but I will tell you something, this person is obsessed. I see it right here with the cards, but they act like they're not, okay? They are obsessed. They're a lot more into you than they show. They actually take efforts to hide how into you they are. 
You know, it could be for various different reasons. They might not be sure how you feel about them. Let's see how they feel like you feel about them. How do they feel like you feel about them? They feel like you don't trust them. Okay, look at that. They feel like you do not trust them. They also feel like you think they're not good enough or their nose is too big. <laughs> That's so fucking weird. Um, they also feel like... How else do they feel about you? Let's take a look at How else do they think you feel about them? Let's take a look at it. They feel, they, they know you feel a spirit. They know you feel a connection with them on some sort of level. They know it. Um, they feel like maybe all you want might be a one night stand. They might feel like, they connect with you best when they're doing something physical with you, okay? They might feel like you might want to keep them as a one-night stand or something that you don't tell other people. That's how they think you feel about them. Like, they think that you are attracted to them, you feel a connection with them, but they feel like you would be ashamed of them or that you want to keep them a secret for some sort of reason, so now that we, you know, really dove deep into that, what is the outcome of this? What is the outcome of this? Twin flame. Holy shit, guys. Look what came out. The twin flame vibe. Listen, this person and you are very similar in ways you might not even see. Um, twin flames are, for instance, John and Yoko Ono. Sid and Nancy, there's something very spiritual about this connection. Um, I, I actually feel like you guys have a very deep connection and this person could be an amazing support system here. The advice is to go slow. The advice here is to go slow because with this twin flame, I feel like this could grow into something very beautiful, but it might not grow overnight, okay? Like, this is definitely not love at first sight, um, knowing this is the person at first sight. This is a connection that grows stronger with time, group number three. But there is definitely a strong spiritual connection here, as I see with Twin Flame, and I feel like this person could be a very major part of your journey and a very major part of your life. This is not someone you will easily forget in the next 10 years. They will play a major role in your life, and I'm going to see how because, as you guys know, I am a specific-ass reader because I'm nosy. I'm curious, guys. Like That's why I do tarot. I'm a spiritual detective. Just see me as a spiritual detective where I am going to get all of the details for you. How are they going to make a huge impact in your life? Let's take a look at this. How will they make Holy Spirit? Please come through. Um, how will this person make a huge impact in their life? How will this person make a huge impact? You both are going to help each other step into a more empowered energy. You're going to help this person develop stronger boundaries and to grow up a little bit um, and to start to take charge in their life. And for you, I think they're going to give you this spiritual strength or this feeling that you can get through any struggle in life. You can get through any hardship in life because I feel like this person is the type of person who would fight your battles with you and give you that emotional support that a lot of people just aren't willing to give you. Okay. How else will this person impact your life? Let's take a look at it here. How will this person impact your life? We have moon and Capricorn. I think this person is going to help you get more organized and be someone who helps connect you to your purpose in life. Okay, they're going to bring a lot of inspiration. And I feel like this person 
could very likely connect you to your purpose or inspire something when it comes to your purpose or inspire something when it comes to um, you creating a future for yourself and making a name for yourself here on earth, like your legacy. Uh, Remember, a lot of twin flames, because I do see this could be a twin flame connection, a lot of twin flames both helped each other in their purpose. Like when we think of John and Yoko Ono, uh, John Lennon of the Beatles and Yoko Ono was an artist and they inspired each other and they led a movement uh, to be against the war together. There's something about this person that is deeply inspiring. And this person is really going to inspire you on your purpose and your plan in life. And I feel like God is almost using this person as inspiration in some sort of related sense. I don't know how it's related, but knowing this person was meant to bring the inspiration and clarity when it comes to your direction in life and what you're supposed to create on this earth to be remembered. And that's something that is important. I know a lot of um, people that are nihilists. They think there's no point, but there is a point, you know, there, there is a point and this person's going to bring that point into your forefront and, uh, really inspire you. And I think the advice here is don't rush into the bedroom. Don't rush into a relationship because this, uh, relationship has the potential to be something very monumental in your life. It could be love. It could just be, you know, a friendship like in Seinfeld between Elaine and Jerry Seinfeld. You know what I mean? Um, The answer isn't being revealed, but this is a major connection in your life that should be watered. And it could develop into something very big if you guys go slow, because I'm going to be honest with you, this person doesn't know what they want. They're an indecisive person. And I feel intuitively that you are someone who is very guarded. And so this is going to take some time to develop. This is not, you know, we do have connections where we have love at first sight, um, whirlwind romances. I don't see this being one of those things, but I do think it's worth investing in. Let's get some messages from them to see if you, if you slipped a truth spell into their drink, what would they tell you? If you were to do a truth spell on your person, they would pretty much tell you that they definitely use manipulative dating tactics. This is the kind of person who plays games. So if you don't text them for eight hours, they won't text you for 16 hours. You know, they're the type of person where if you cancel plans, they will cancel plans the next time. They definitely play the dating game to act less interested than they are because they automatically assume that they're just going to get rejected. So in order to, they'll tell you that in order to avoid rejection, they play these games to get you to want them more. And I feel like a part of them felt rejected by you. So in a sense, they're punishing you for that rejection. Um, I'm seeing an energy of there being like a third person. So maybe they felt like there was someone else or that you were seeing someone else, or maybe they even started talking to someone else just to make you uh, jealous or just to put you in some sort of pain. And Honestly, I didn't think, I think this person didn't expect to fall for you so hard. All right. You have them under your spell. Actually, group three, this person is so mistrustful of you. If you're into witchcraft, they feel like you did some witchy shit on them to make them fall in love with you. Yeah, I got to, I got to beep outside. If they know you're into manifestation, if they know you're into tarot cards, if they know you're into witchcraft, they actually feel as though you put a spell on them to make them obsessed. And that's why they're suspicious of you because they see you as a man eater, kind of like uh, Elaine from The Love Witch. You know, and this person feels like they got lucky with you. Ooh, I heard that Tom Petty song. Gosh, I love Tom Petty. I know not everyone loves Tom Petty, but it reminds me of my time in Nashville because Tom Petty has a song where it's like, you got lucky, babe, that I found you. Oh my gosh, I'm going to listen to that like 
Okay, so I heard if you have ADD, you'll listen to the same song over and over to suck the living dopamine out of it. This person, their their song to you is You Got Lucky Babe by Tom Petty. So if you want a channeled song from their soul to yours, you got lucky, babe, that I found you. Sorry, I'm like, I don't remember the tune. I just don't remember, but I definitely heard that song. But they also feel like they got lucky with you. And I think that's why they're scared of losing you. They're scared of losing you, so... They play games with you to try to make you feel more excitement towards them. Okay, so like if they feel like you rejected them or you slighted them, even though they want to reach out to you, even though they want to text you, they're not going to do it because they feel like they have to play games in order to keep your interest. That's what I'm seeing. All right, like that, that's what if you put a true spell in their drink, that is what they would tell you. They'd be like... Do you know how much I actually want to text you? Do you know how much I actually like you? I'm just acting hard to get. I'm just playing all these games because it's a way for me to avoid rejection. And if they did ghost you, if they did leave you, if they did back away from you without South Node energy, I'm telling you, they knew they lost a good one with you. They know um, your person knows that you're the best that's around them. And you're the best they're going to find in a while. They know that. But their pride is so big. So if they did ghost you, if they did walk away from you, if they did stop answering your messages, if they are acting distant, it's simply to avoid the rejection they feel or the rejection they feel you're ultimately going to give them because they do see your value. And this person plays games to get you to want them more. I strongly, strongly feel that about your person. So if you're like, <sighs> how do you feel like they feel? That's what, I, This is getting so long, but I can't help it because I'm so nosy. How do you feel like this person feels? What do you think this person feels about you? You feel like this person sees you as an obligation. Like, oh, I guess I'll hang out with you. Oh, it's work to hang out with you. You know? You feel like this person feels like you're an obligation or, but you know, they think you're hot, right? You know that because they do think you're hot, but you feel like they see you as an obligation, but that couldn't be further from the truth. They like you. They just try to get you to chase them by ghosting you and by acting distant. I can 100% say that about this person. <laughs> okay. Um, the likely outcome again, this person's going to continue to play games. They might even post statuses or post like m songs that are low key about you just to get at you. Right. So all right, guys, that's what I have for you. I hope that was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. If that reading really resonated with you, I highly suggest you join my Patreon tier membership for 1111 a month. There's like a free tier, but that's not how you're going to access all the content. You actually have to click join membership for $11 and 11 cents a month for access to four psychic readings from me monthly. But I already have a whole collection of 200 different pick a card psychic readings already on my Patreon that you will have access to for only $11.11 a month, including how does your crush feel about you, what you need to focus on right now, what blessings are coming your way, what's coming for you in the next week. Every psychic question you need answered, you can get answered on my Patreon videos where these pick a cards are only on my Patreon. So, you know, join us over there. It's the cheapest psychic reading service ever for only $11 a month. And the link to join is in the pinned comment as well as the description.